Hey guys, how you doing? It's Jen from Normcore Motors here, coming to you from the studio. Now, I know I'm like $10 short and a million days late, but I figured I should open my trap about this COVID-19 or coronavirus situation that's going on right now. So, here's the deal guys. Here in New Jersey, there have been close to 900 cases and the number keeps going up it's continually changing uh, galloway township is now at i believe it's five even though the even though the picture that you're seeing on the screen says three the information is a little dated our first victim was a 66 year old man with a compromised immune system and that seems to be the trend right now is that if you have a compromised immune system you are highly at risk that's not terrible that's not great okay it's horrible that this man was afflicted with this uh it's not terrible because there have been more instances in other places and for atlanta county to only have one instance that's pretty good right now so we'll see how it goes you know it's all statistics at this point now that's not the problem that i'm going to be talking about here in this video the problem i'm going to be talking about is people panicking. Red alert! All hands to battle stations, Captain Picard to the bridge! This is enough to drive me clinically insane. Look, I am never going to tell you guys not to take a serious situation seriously. This is a very serious situation. Alright, there's nothing funny about this. However, that's not to say that you should go out to the freaking food markets and the Walmarts and anywhere else you can think of and buy up all the milk, eggs, water, bread, toilet paper, and paper towels. I used to work for Wawa. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, Wawa is a convenience store uh, with a gasoline station. Every goddamn time there was a approaching problem, okay, a storm, snow, whatever, people would clean out the store, and I mean clean it out of milk, eggs, water, bread, and then they would go to the fuel court and fill up not only their cars, but half a dozen cans of gasoline and diesel. To the point where management actually had to call corporate and corporate turned around and said, look, you're gonna have to limit how many cans these people can take in because this is ridiculous. And it's the same thing with this uh, coronavirus thing. I have gone to Walmart, to Target, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar, and half a dozen other stores. And every time I go to the section where the toilet paper is or where the paper towels are, it's dead empty. Okay, now unless you have an entire division of people, which for those of you who don't know, and Naval Division for the U.S. Navy is around 86 to 90 people. So unless you have that many people staying at your house at the same time, there is absolutely no reason on this earth to go out and buy all the damn toilet paper, paper towels. That is ridiculous, okay? The funniest thing is, now I use baby wipes for my face. I have very greasy skin and I have very sensitive skin on my face. So I use that to clean up my skin so I don't wind up looking like, you know, pizza face. I go to get the freaking baby wipes, and there's none there. None. Now, I talked to a couple people about this, people who have children, um, that, you know, they have to buy baby wipes. You know, the kids are still in diapers or they're in training pants. There's no, there's no freaking baby wipes. There's no flushable wipes. There's no none of that. But... There are a metric ass ton of diapers and training pants at Walmart and everywhere else. <laughs> Which makes no sense at all. Uh, what are you going to do? Flush them down the sewer or into your septic tank? If you do that, you are brain dead. Because you will cause damage to your septic tank. And if you're on city water, you will cause damage to the pipes. And then the city's going to come after you. So just keep that in mind. There's no reason to go into super duper panic mode, which is what I've been seeing a lot of. 
It's enough to drive me crazy. And it's really no! stupid to do that because you're not going to be able to think clearly. You know, one of the things my father always used to tell me, and Dad, I love you if you're watching this. <laughs> Say hi to Mom and the others for me. Uh, <laughs> but one thing my father always tried to teach me, not that it ever stuck 100% of the time, but he tried to teach me, think about what you do before you do it. Now, has there been a complete and total lockdown of the country here in the U.S.? No. Is there a mandatory curfew? No. At least in New Jersey, there's not. There's a, there's a suggested curfew, which cracks me up because it, it might as well be mandatory. But that's not the point. The point is, the situation is bad. Absolutely. Okay, it's really bad. There's no vaccine for this. And quite frankly, I mean, anybody who studied history could have seen this coming. Because the last uh, pandemic on this level was in the 1920s. And it was influenza. So, you know, every hundred years or so, we get something like this. And every hundred years or so, it's the same thing. People panic. So, you're probably wondering, all right, Jen, you smartass, what have you been doing? What have I been doing? Well, I still go out. I go for drives. I go buy dresses at Goodwill. I talk to my friends on, on my phone. You know, I go and see my parents. I still do a lot of work, you know, not just uh, with this channel, but also with Stockton University, doing my degree, and odds and ends around the house, too. So, you know, I'm not going to let this stop me. You know, there are limitations to what I can do because of the situation, but that doesn't mean that I'm just going to sit here with my thumb up my ass and let this situation take the best of me and that's my advice to all of you don't let the situation control you and don't panic i know it's easier said than done i know but you don't need 27 cases of toilet paper unless you're wiping your ass that much you're not gonna need it number one number two paper towels okay everybody uses them i use them a lot because i use them for cleaning uh, not only in my room, but, you know, when I have to clean the bathroom or when I have to clean the car or some other damn thing comes up, that's what I use. Doesn't mean that I go out and buy five or ten cases of paper towels from Costco. I'm one person. There's no way in hell that I would use that much, okay? So my advice to all of you, if you're wondering what the hell to do or if this whole COVID-19 thing is driving you up a tree... The best advice I can do, go about your daily lives as best as you can. Don't panic. It's not worth it. And the only thing you're going to do is you're going to screw yourself in the long run anyway. Because when this is over, if you're one of those people that bought 8 million freaking pounds of paper towels, toilet papers, hand sanitizer and all that, and you're going to be stuck with it. And you're not going to be able to get rid of it, okay? And if your neighbors already know that you've done this, you already look like an asshole, and you're going to look like an even bigger one when this is over, okay? Because then you're not going to be able to get rid of this shit. So, buy smart, people. Don't let your panic control you, okay? If you need toilet paper, go get toilet paper. If you need paper towels, go get paper towels. But don't sit there and buy the entire stock, just buy what you need. Buy what you regularly buy. If it comes down to a quarantine, a total and utter quarantine, okay, if you think that you're going to be sitting in your house like some kind of prisoner or, you know, prison camp survivor, think again. Yes, things like this can bring up the worst in people. I, I don't deny that at all. But at the same time, it brings out the best because it shows how we can weather situations like this. So, in the words of Captain Picard, Stand down from Red Alert. Go about your life. Don't let this control you. As for me, I'm doing exactly what I've been doing this entire time. It hasn't changed. Now, am I worried about exposure? Not particularly, no. Uh, the reason why is because I know I have a pretty damn good immune system. Uh, I don't have any kind of immunodeficiencies 
So there's less likely of a chance of me catching it. I'm also 32 years old, so that kind of also helps in my favor. So as far as my possibility for exposure goes, no, I'm not really all that concerned about it. Um, if I do wind up getting it, the first thing I'll do is put everything away in my room, go to the hospital, and go talk to a doctor. That's what they're there for. If you sneeze or cough or blow a fart and think that <laughs> you've got the coronavirus when in reality you have a head cold, the only thing you're going to do is panic. If you feel like you have any symptoms of anything, go see your doctor. That is what they're there for. Other than that, there's really not much else I can lend towards this. So, with that said, have a great week. Try to do the best you can with what you got, people. I know it's easier said than done, but try to do what you can. And don't let this control you. And for the love of God, stop buying toilet paper. You probably got 800 cases of the shit in your basement and you got nothing to do with it. Except look at it and <laughs> sneer at it like a Ferengi. So, I will see you guys next time on Normcore Motors. The next video we're going to be doing is going to be a journal video uh, for NCM Journals. And it's going to be dead car brands. So we're going to go over car brands that no longer exist. And I'm even going to do some conjecture on car brands that I think aren't going to be around anymore. So, you guys have a good one. And I'll see you on the flip side.